The fall of man is a fall from one knowledge to another. When Adam and Eve ate the fruit in the garden, the Bible says they ate the fruit of knowledge of good and evil. When God comes to look for Adam, he asks him, Adam, Adam, where are you? He said, I heard thy voice in the garden. I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And God asked him the question, who told thee that thou was naked? Did I, God, tell you you're naked? Before he falls, he's naked and he doesn't know. They were naked and not ashamed. They were constrained to a certain knowledge by God. And while they were constrained to that knowledge, the Bible says that water came from the ground and watered the garden. It does not show on record anywhere that Adam looked for food. He looked for a job. He looked for marriage. He didn't look for nothing. He wasn't sick. He wasn't beggarly. He wasn't lacking nothing in that atmosphere. And look at the relationship he begins with Adam. Of every tree you shall eat, meaning you have access, not this one. Imagine a man born in the world where he has variety of things to eat from. That's his mindset. He doesn't think men lack. That's his plan. That this man won't be there and want anything. He's a complete man and he's unashamed. The knowledge of good and evil, the spirit of this world, after he has eaten, is when God opens the church up to the mind that I want you to understand. And God asks him, who told you you are naked? Who told you? Did you eat of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou should not eat? Because that tree tells you what you don't have. You're naked. What is the figurative, metaphorical meaning of naked? You have nothing. Who told you that you're poor? How do you know you're poor? Who told you? How do you know you lack? Who told you? Because you have to first be told. A certain knowledge has to come. When you're in one knowledge and then you fall out of the knowledge of God and then you enter the knowledge of his world, you will look at yourself and in everything you will lack or want something. That is why when David is talking of the shepherd, his first understanding is he shall not want anything. If this deliverance doesn't happen on you, even if you study the best books in this world, you'll die poor man.